Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. We welcome you to the Spice of Life Variety Show. We are so honored to be in your presence, and we know that your heart is going to be blessed as we always strive to bring you shows that will enrich both your lives and our lives. Uh, we invite you to grab your pen and your paper so you can copy down our contact information at the very end. We are interested in your prayer requests, your comments, and once again, we just want you to know that we love you. We do bring you greetings from the West Angeles Church of God in Christ, where Bishop Charles C. Blake serves as our pastor. We love you. Evangelist Pamela Webb, how are you today? I'm great. How are you doing, Dr. Lewis? I'm doing just great. And you're looking so springy in your beautiful colors. What can I say, girl? You can't help yourself. I can't help right? myself. We just kind of coordinated. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> we, we, we flow in the spirit. Yes. Okay, yes. Well, how are we going to flow today? Well, goodness. You know, <laughs> God is so good that every morning we get brand new mercies. Okay. So that means we get another chance. Another chance. So our topic today is starting all over again. <laughs> Once again, starting over. <laughs> Once again. Once start again, starting over. Mm -hmm. Life situations. Mm -hmm. That's what Life we're be challenges. Mm -hmm. That forces yes. us to start, start over. All over. Well, we certainly are not alone. We have on stage with us uh, two wonderful, uh, bright, smart, wonderful young men. First of all, <laughs> don't be looking back. We're talking about the two of you. <laughs> First of all, uh, here on our left, the most immediate left, is Mr. J. Michaels. J. Michaels, welcome to uh, the Spice of Life show. Thank you for having me. Okay, we're going to find right. out who J. Michaels really mm -hmm. is. And then we also have uh, Dr. Tim Timothy Price with us. Dr. Timothy Price, welcome to the Spice of Life show. Good to be here. All Thank right. you. We know that uh, you... Both of you will be able to really uh, share with us as we discuss the show mm -hmm. title, Once Again, Starting Over. Mm. And like um, dear Pamela indicated, that we have God's grace each day. Mm -hmm. And so he knew up front that we were going to have to start back start over again. All over again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our lives do not take him by surprise. Mm -hmm. And so he said, let me just make it plain and clear right mm -hmm. now. Every day, I'm going to give you new mercies because you may have you may have succeeded the day before, but yesterday you may have failed. Mm -hmm. So today, you need to start back over again. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, well, I don't know now. Am I the only one to have to start back over? Or let me let me just establish that. How many of you have experienced having to start over again in life at one point or another? Uh, we still here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think as long as we're still on this earth, breathing God's air, yes. So Goodness. you both are, are familiar with starting life over? I probably can write a book on it. <laughs> <laughs> so how many volumes, huh? I can write a book on it. I'm how just grateful. <laughs> now, is it a shame, to, when we're talking about starting over, is it a shame to have to start over again in life because of some choices that we've made that may not have been good? Is, that, is it a shame to start over again? Either one of you. It's not a shame. I shared with uh, some people, how many people do you know that has begun from birth uh, to death and lived a perfect life? Mm -hmm. None. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> None. I rest Not my a. Case. <laughs> Not a. <laughs> Not a. Uh, Jay, you have an end? Well, you know, I was going to say that for the moment, it depends on what you've done. Mm -hmm. You know, it could, it could be shameful, it, on, but it's up to the, the individual on, on how long you want to stay in that. Mm. Wow. You know, you can't get back up, stand down. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't reach your destiny by, by staying down. And, and for me personally, uh, I, I've, I've fallen down many times, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. many, many times. Welcome to life. Uh -huh. And it's, uh, you know, it's just amazing to me that, I, that, that God just has kept his hands on me mm -hmm. and preserved me and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it spoke to me on, on why he's done this. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I'm not ashamed today. You know, wow. at all. But for that moment, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say mm -hmm. at that moment, mm -hmm. you know, especially some of the things that we've done. I know that I've done mm -hmm. that I wasn't very proud of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I would tend to think it's more of a shame not to start over again when we know that we should start mm -hmm. over again. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, mm -hmm. that, and that we do just stay in that one spot that we wallow in wherever we are because it's just like in the natural when we trip and fall, okay. We really try to scramble to get back up real quickly so that no, no one right. see us, yeah. you know, <laughs> exactly, because we're, right. you know, we are, we are embarrassed right. for the moment, yes. right. and we, mm -hmm. we're trusting no one saw us, right. but we need to get up and, and kind of go forward. Yeah. Tell me you have and, well, to recognize that it's actually a growth 
process. Uh huh. Because when yeah. you're down, you should learn a lesson. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. from that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or else you're going to keep on lesson. falling doing that same thing. That's right. But exactly. it's a part of development. Exactly. Actually. It's a part of You know, and as, as saved people, mm -hmm. you know, it's a difference between the unsaved and the saved, but was even saved people, we make mistakes. Yes, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we're subject to error. You know, we would like to, you know, mm. live this holy life mm -hmm. and the, the, the idea, but, you know, we, we are human, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I have sinned, mm -hmm. you know, but, like you say, starting over, mm -hmm. you know, getting back uh, in the uh, flow of things, you know, and, and, and falling down, um, it really is not only damaging, I can understand the principle of living safe and living holy, mm -hmm. living according to the word, because if you don't, you know, so there's so many repercussions behind it, oh, you know. Of course. Oh, yeah. Guilt, mm -hmm. that guilt and that shame. Guilt. And the, right. mm -hmm. Oh, man. But what did that do? And you hurt people and people get hurt. Right. And feelings right. Get hurt. Yes. Exactly. And all but, you know, thanks be to God and his mercy, mm -hmm. you know, and w which was the purpose of Jesus coming and said, oh, I knew you were going to do that. So we <laughs> have to, you know, confess that sin, you know, and believe that he, he has forgiven us. And move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the problem comes with people that don't want to let it go. <laughs> they want to keep on. Wow. Oh, I remember when, remember when you did this and this. Right. Mm -hmm. and, um, right. That's, that's not what this is about. That's mm -hmm. not what Jesus was taught about. Mm -hmm. I see your wheels. Uh, your, I see your wheels moving. <laughs> I no, I, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, I was, I, I had a word, something I keep in my devotion, though, and that I have to read daily uh, as far as, you know, Jesus said, if you're willing to lose your life for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a pretty profound statement, statement. And, yeah. and, and most of us just want to lose a little bit of it, <laughs> you know, but, it, but he says you must pick up your cross Fine. daily, mm -hmm. daily. And yeah. for me, I, I had to finally do that. I had to finally truly surrender. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, people say a uh, phrase that's over, overrated on um, that they're trying to find themselves, you know, people trying to find their lives. But really, in reality, it's, it's when you're pursuing something uh, you you won't find it the, the key is you have to you have to give something up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you have to give something up in order to get it mm -hmm. and that's what i had to uh to really to really understand mm -hmm. you know so surrendering is is really the is mm -hmm. the key it's and, and be okay with un yeah. knowing that that we're gonna fall yeah. right. you know I, I can't forget that i'm mortal <laughs> right. yeah, you know? that's the we don't so. use it for an yeah. excuse mm -hmm. but no. but then by the same token we don't uh, we don't kill ourselves because we did fall, mm -hmm. although we strive not to fall. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. because, it's, because, as you said, so many other areas are affected when mm -hmm. we do fall. Yeah. Other right. people are affected. Mm -hmm. You know, some people feel as though that, well, they are, uh, well, that's okay if I fall because I'll, I'll just get back up again and it won't be a big thing. Mm -hmm. But it is a big deal mm -hmm. when we fall right. because, it, you know, it's just like, uh, if you fall and you pull down the tablecloth with all the dishes and all and all the food on it, you pull all that down. Well, then not only did you go down on the floor, but you took okay. all mm -hmm. of that uh -huh. with That's you. Right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, many times mm -hmm. we have to start back over again. And sometimes we don't have the opportunity to start back over again That's in certain sad. areas mm -hmm. that we that we take for granted. Yeah. You know, yes. because some doors may be open back to us, but other doors may ne mm -hmm. may never be back open. That's right. And I, I had to learn that uh, God has a way of teaching us <laughs> as his children that, like you said, killing yourself, you, that thought may occur and may come, and, uh, but uh, you persevere and you make another step, whatever, and God steps in, you know, and he teaches us and he tells us, see, uh, you could have, you know, you could have, uh, went further, you know, or you could have did more, but uh, I let you see, you know, that uh, I, you are nothing without me. Mm -hmm. So, so it's about mm -hmm. trusting Him, mm -hmm. and that's where I, we 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 like we 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 we're hum the human coming in, and we're fearful, we get afraid, and we mm -hmm. get scared. But mm -hmm. you know, God is with us, and thank be to God that He is a merciful God. Oh, yeah. you know? He is a right. merciful God. Well, okay, so that we will be on the same page with our audience and the audience will be on the same page with us. What are some situations that we have to start over sometime? Let's just itemize some areas. What do we have to start over from? It could be a, a career. Okay, career. It could be a job that you thought that it was God leading you there. Mm -hmm. and then you find out, no, that actually <laughs> was not the place. <laughs> and then you have to humble yourself mm -hmm. and probably go and try something what God says. You know, we always have this thing, we always say, well, 
something told me uh -huh. that that wasn't right. Uh -huh. But we don't listen to that something, and it's actually the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Tell, no, not this. That is not the place. Right, exactly. That but, is not the place. But we do it anyway. Yes, not that career. Mm -hmm. No. Not that home. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. that area. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, funny, on that same note, as far as a career, you know, God spoke to me uh, on... Sometimes it takes away the things that blinds us, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, good you know, uh -huh. and and, you know, he gave me a gift, mm -hmm. you know, in radio that I've been doing for 24 years. Mm -hmm. But I kept taking it for granted. Wow. I kept taking it for granted. I mean, gave me great jobs. I lost them. Great jobs. I lost them. Great jobs. I lost them. Great jobs. And this went over. He gave me another chance. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to do it right. I'm yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. He gave me another chance. You know, he forgave me again. But this last time. You know, this last time, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he 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 wanted to humble me, make me be still for a while to really think about it. Mm -hmm. But also, yeah. also, and I had a lot of time to think and to really surrender to him mm -hmm. because the gift is now he's requiring he wants a requirement from this mm -hmm. gift. That's right. And mm -hmm. uh, and I realized that, and and he's also in the restoration business. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, God. and yes, I'm, I'm very yes. grateful for his mercy mm -hmm. and his mm -hmm. grace and some mm -hmm. some. He's revealed to me some just some wonderful things that are happening, but you wow. know we we have to you know it's about being humble. He says, uh, "Was it John three thirty? He must increase, I must that decrease." I mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and as believers, we have to remember that the the Holy Spirit is is, is active. Yes, right. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a progressive. We we're not here to be stagnant. Mm -hmm. or to just stay in one place, mm -hmm. stay mm -hmm. in one spot. Mm -hmm. uh, we get in our comfort zone. That's right. Mm -hmm. so, well, I got a job here, and okay, I'm, I'm making it. But uh, um, Jesus said, he that overcome, you know, and we're here to overcome some things. Yes. I think uh, 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 God is more pleased with us when we strive to do better, to have the faith that we can do mm -hmm. better, you know, help others do better, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we were talking earlier about helping young people, and, um, if they have that uh, initiative, some of them don't, don't, they don't even know what they want to be. Right. Like many yeah. adults, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but you know, what, what, what is, what is, what can I get in your, instill in your brain to find out what motivates you? Because God, I, I believe that God has given us a gift where all of us can do something. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, if it ain't with color good. Yes. You know, you'd be surprised if you can color good in a color book. Well, that might be your gift to, to be right. able to do something in, mm -hmm. in uh, television or, or movie. Mm -hmm. So, but you you got to take time out to 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 find out now what is this? What can this person do? Because there's got to be something you can do, mm -hmm. you know. So, sometimes we make bi bad financial decisions. Mm -hmm. um, we over. Why you got to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Let's not, let's, let's not talk about finance. We're going back to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Relapsing. <laughs> but but sometimes we do. Uh, like. Um, Pamela was indicating, and um, Evangel as well was indicating that we hear the small voice of God, but we, uh, because you have a big house, you have a large house, mm -hmm. you have a large house, mm -hmm. I can't afford that, but I want to fit in with the three of you mm -hmm. that I go and get something I can't uh, pay for, that mm -hmm. I can't afford. Why? Just so I can keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. right. You know, yeah. Jones keeping up with the Joneses will get you in trouble. Oh, and so financially, Ooh. sometimes we may, you know, go in and get the top of the line of the car that right. I really can't <laughs> afford to keep. No, if you know you, you don't you, right now, and, and, and I know we like to walk in that I'm believing God, that faith element. Right, right. And if God is really impressing upon your heart to do that, then do that. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. But now if that's not God and that's you, right. just because, you want, again, you want to keep up with the Joneses, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. a problem there. Mm -hmm. You know, relationship wise, right. sometimes uh, we have to start back over in our relationship yeah. with our with that's our tough. spouse yes. or with our children or mm -hmm. in our families. OK, now you done brought that up now. <laughs> <laughs> starting over with our spouse and starting over with uh, our uh, um, um, Significant others, right. uh -huh. you know, that's that's a whole nother ball. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother show. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, but uh, uh, can you start over mm -hmm. or is there a starting over? Is there a, well, you know, I know you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. You know, are we going to do this or, or, or are we going to, uh, you know, just say, hey, it's maybe best just, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll be by myself or you be by yourself and be, f let's, let's, let's just spot as friends and say goodbye. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But those are legitimate questions mm -hmm. because, because you have to ask whether or not can we start back over again mm. because th th there may have been so much water under the bridge that the bridge has been wiped, washed away. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, we take for granted that we're going to have another opportunity. Mm -hmm. We may not have another opportunity again with the first choice. Mm -hmm. We might have to demote and go to the second and third and mm -hmm. fourth choice That's because right. of some bad decisions that we have made. Mm -hmm. you, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out because people get tired yeah, of... Uh, of our trips and changes. Right. They, can't, yeah, they get right. tired of us right. saying, okay, I'm going to do it right this time, yeah. and then we, we do it right for two minutes, and then for the next 20 years, we don't do it right. People get tired of that, and they say, you know what? You, you keep going that merry-go-round, but I, yeah. I'm getting off. I, I'm getting off at the first stop, yeah. and we sometimes we suffer in that regard. Well, you know, I, because cause we don't really truly <clears throat> take our place in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, we really, really rooted ourselves and took our place and understood, you know, and, and that's, again, you know, that, that's a real that's thing to do, mm -hmm. you know, to take our place in Christ. You know, when you talk about relationships, I was sharing with this young lady, uh, and I hope I'm not getting too off the subject, but I was sharing with her, don't love me so much. And I don't say that in an arrogant, oh. cocky way. Uh -huh. I say that it's, that's too much pressure. Okay. On an oh, yeah, okay. to live up okay. to, you know. Uh -huh. my, my, see, what the problem is, people, they're, they don't understand. Where their joy, they don't understand where their joy is centered. Okay, right. When your joy is centered around God, around the Lord, that's where your joy is. Right. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. around people, not exactly. around place, not around cars, uh -huh. not around home, not right. around circumstances. Uh -huh. You gotta understand where your joy is centered around. Yes. And, where it uh, be. and where mm -hmm. it should be. And I've mm -hmm. had to learn this. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I and I've grown growing into this. Yes. You know, and uh, so, you know, mm. starting over, we it's a choice. You know. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's it's a choice, but it but we learn from the mistakes that we made. You know, and, and I tell people, and these guys I counsel in, in drugs and alcohol, man, as long as you have a breath, mm -hmm. you got a choice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does, um, this might be a time, does anyone have a particular situation that you might want to share where you've had to start over again or any of that nature? If so, be our guest. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> you know, um, I'm in that process right now. Okay. I'm in that process right now, and, and I, and I, and I kind of smile because I said I've had many times, <laughs> numerous times to start over. You know, I started in, in radio right out of high school when I was 18 and been doing this in this business for almost 25 years, okay. you know, uh, and I had wonderful jobs mm -hmm. all over America, Houston, Dallas, Chicago, Detroit, you know, got a chance to, to, to come back home. I'm from Los Angeles and uh, had wonderful opportunity with KJLH. I, I love him to death. And uh, but until until I had to really get me together, okay. you know, there's see, hmm. the devil hmm. has a way. He doesn't want us to get to our obviously <laughs> our destination. Uh -huh. right. You exactly. know, I share with people, folks That's all right. the time that, mm -hmm. that he also has the same blueprint. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. God gives our blueprint. He has a copy of that mm -hmm. blueprint. And his job is to keep tripping us. And that's what he did to me. Mm -hmm. T today, I can finally say, look at you and I, finally understand Praise God. greater is he that's yes. in the Praise world. God. I can honestly say that Praise today. God. But I'm, I'm in that process now. But again, as I, sp I stated earlier about God's in the restoration hmm. business, mm -hmm. and that's what he does. You. So, you know, but he says those that are humble will be exalted. Mm -hmm. and, I, and for me personally, you know, I had to, it, it was it was more than drugs and all that crazy. Mm -hmm. It was way more. It was by changing me. Yes, uh -huh. you know, right. I had to let go of all those resentments mm -hmm. and bags that, that had been weighing me mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. When I finally released those, honestly, mm -hmm. see, folks always talk about when I didn't let. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you, it's a, it's just it's a it's a surrender. It's mm -hmm. a it's a release okay. of that bondage. All right, exactly. Jay, I like that because it starts from the inside. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. It's the issues that are in us. Right that we have to be delivered from. That's why we have to be transformed That's by right. the renewing That's right. of this contrary yes, society type of mind. Because mm -hmm. right. we, we all have sinned. It didn't right. say just a few, <laughs> but all have sinned That's and right. come short mm -hmm. of the glory of God. And it's a process. It's a learning process. Mm -hmm. We got to walk. We have to live the word yes, of God. Please. We have to live the word of God. Right. We have to walk this walk. And right. it's not easy. We got to take off garments, old baggage. That's right. Okay. So that we can be filled with this new life that he's given us. You know, awesome. you asked uh, if any of us are in this situation now. I um, just started a new business. Mm -hmm. It's a startup business. Started from scratch, you know, and just looking at how long, like you said, the devil got a blueprint also. That's right. And I'm constantly looking out for him, you mm -hmm. know. But he still got to find, he still has a way of doing no, things. Just, just throwing a wrench yeah. in the mm -hmm. 
but 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 thanks be to God that He's able to overcome Him right. mm -hmm. and His works. You know, mm -hmm. so but uh, we um, once once again that faith comes in that we have to have the faith that we can do it. Mm -hmm. You know, that I can do this. You know, to have faith in God that He's able to bring it to pass to grant us our heart's desires. You know, and then when you're helping others, see, that's then right. that's a blessing. Mm -hmm. You know, because people need to be blessed and and to hand it down as opposed to what's going on in the world as they're handing down all this negativity, all this uh, 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 drive-by shooting, you know, the copycat. Mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, and it's like a domino effect. But can we domino effect good? Mm -hmm. Can we domino effect <laughs> blessings? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, starting with myself. Right. Uh -huh. Starting over, mm -hmm. you know, and then, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. We can be in the line of the word and still be blessed, yes. and still be able to help people, and, and, and maybe get to that swimming pool in that car in that house. <laughs> oh, can I want the job? Hey, Mrs. Jones. <laughs> well, you know what? But the thing about it, 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 if we're blessed to get there, it's because we would have gone through the process to, to, so we can remain there and not take possession of us. That's God, right. God is not mm -hmm. opposed to us being blessed no, and having large homes and wonderful mm -hmm. cars. The, the problem is, is when they become our God, when, yeah. they, yes, when, right. they, mm -hmm. when they take over our being instead of us taking, you know, ruling them. Mm -hmm. um, what came to my mind was Romans 12, the 12th chapter, uh, the uh, first and the second verse. Mm -hmm. Now I know that we are accustomed to the King James Version that talks about presenting our bodies a living sacrifice mm -hmm. and etc. But I want to read it from the New Living Translation where it says, And so dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, mm -hmm. the kind he will accept. When you think of what he has done for you, is this too much to ask? Mm -hmm. Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world. But let God transform you into a new person mm -hmm. by changing the way you think. That's mm -hmm. right. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect his will really is. Right. And that's what we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. being changed on the inside, mm -hmm. on the inner man, because only because right now we're cloudy. You know, in a situ if we're in negative kind of situations, whether we're saved or not saved, negative kind of situations, then our, our minds are cloudy, you That's know, right. how, how we think <laughs> is cloudy. And we won't begin to start over again until we, un, until we allow, like you say, that we deny ourselves, mm -hmm. surrender ourselves, to. commit yeah. ourselves to God the Father. What, one can say what they want to, but that there is no God. God is just, you know, a, a man just like me. I'm my God. They can say all that, can mm -hmm. do all that tripping all they want. That's right. But when it all comes mm -hmm. down to it, when the, when the pain gets severe enough, right. then one say, Lord, whatever it takes, change, mm -hmm. change, change the way I think, change mm -hmm. my heart, help me, because I need to start over again. If I don't start over again, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a walking dead wow. man or a walking dead woman, and and of mm -hmm. course, this cannot be starting over again and really having that substance of experience of starting over again will not is will not happen a part of having God in the forefront of one's mind and one's heart. Yes, ma'am. We have to have God. I, I like what Jay said when he said that we need to uh, be in Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, that space. Mm -hmm. Yes. To be in that space because, yes. you know, I look at myself, mm -hmm. you know, I'm looking in the mirror and I see these gray hairs. And, <laughs> and I, when I used to have a six pack, I'm, I'm out here now, uh -huh. you know, I say, uh, uh, hello, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and, but I still have not, uh, you know, found a, so mate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So, but if I take it, Jay's advice <laughs> and get into staying the Christ, you know, and just wait on Him and continue to wait on Him, mm -hmm. you know, if that's His desire, mm -hmm. then He will bring it to pass. Yes. But I, I haven't been doing that. I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at that. And mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna have to do something here. Yeah. What can I work out? Huh? Uh, okay. Well, because it's always gonna be the the the, the uh, spirit is willing. But yeah. the flesh, the flesh, flesh is, is weak. Hello. You know, it, it, something my, my spiritual father used to say all the time, man, if we just act like the Bible is true. Mm -hmm. Because if y'all just act like it's true, just mm -hmm. act like mm -hmm. you'll be all right. So, you know, I tend to go and I, and I just read now, and, and I'm believing what he says. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to believe, believe in him, you know, I, I, and, and that's, that's what's got me where I am today. Because mm -hmm. I was dark. I was in that, in that darkness. Mm -hmm. Satan, man, he, he, he had his 
hands all he the way down. He don't play fair. He's he, out he the did. kill still but you know, in the store. Praise yeah. be to God that he mm -hmm. kept his hands on me. Amen. Wow. You know, he really did. Mercy because uh, he, he, he didn't want me to get that blueprint that, mm -hmm. that I'm now seeing a little clearer. Exactly. You know, well, if we just act like the Bible is true, you know, he, he says, man, you yeah. know, stay in him. Mm -hmm. You know, and he says he'll, he'll give us our heart's desires. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. we're down to the last couple of minutes of the show. And so a final thought. Uh, why, don't, why don't you share a final thought first from you, Dr. I'll Tosipas. say that there, I found out that there really is nothing out there in the world, or as Mama said, in the streets. <laughs> 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 I still like the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I still got to, you know, put my little rim on and go out. Just, just cruise around in the streets just a little bit, uh, you know, but there's still nothing out there. It's, it's Christ is what is the way. It's the only way you're going to have peace, the only way you're going to find true love. And you want mm -hmm. true love. You don't want, you know, a fake love because that becomes problems. And But, um, you know, remember that you can, there's always time to start over. As long as we're breathing, you God. got blood <laughs> flowing. Thank you got you. another chance. Every new, every day is a new day. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. so okay, listen. Jay, your final thought. My final thoughts is nothing. It's it's don't be embarrassed. Don't be uh, uh, ashamed. Don't be down. I mean, by starting over, you know, it, it's, uh, it's as, as evangelist mm -hmm. Pam said, it's it's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. But you can't. You'll never be able to get to your destiny by staying down. Mm -hmm. You'll never get to where you have to go by staying down. Right. You know, you got to truly surrender your life, surrender and understand who's, you know, who you're serving, whom you are. Yes. I know that's not yes. great English, but you got to know whom you are. Uh -huh. And I know whom I am uh -huh. today. Uh -huh. okay. And uh, praise God. All right, Pamela, you, your final thought? Well, just trust in the Lord. That's all I can say since mm -hmm. we're your final thought. <laughs> Trust in the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> we well, 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 certainly uh, to you, our viewing audience, we want you to know that our show today, once again, starting over, was just to uh, motivate us first mm -hmm. and then you to know that what it, which, whatever situation we may find ourselves in, to start over again. Every day we breathe, we have an opportunity and accept the fact it's going to be a challenge. We're going to have to be mm -hmm. determined, yeah. put God first, but it can be done. It may not be done on your terms, and it probably won't be done on your terms. Right. But I guarantee you, you can change. God bless you. Until next time, take care of yourself. We love you. <laughs>